Catching up on stickers. The Bulldog Workshop. Hey, it's the Woodworking Geek. Freitas Wood Design. New York Granger. Awesome wood thing. Hey, and it's the Detroit Camaro Club. I also want to thank Bill Newell, who sent me a copy of what he said was his favorite book when he was 10 years old. He's an odd kid. American Bridges and Covered Bridges. No, American Barns and Covered Bridges. It's kind of a cool vintage book. He says he sent me one and Jimmy DiResta one. And I want to thank Philippe for sending me another Fibonacci clock. This one's fully assembled and I think it's kind of better to get it this way. It was a lot of work to try to build my own enclosure for it, but these things are just so cool. And I want to thank all of you who sent me Christmas cards and greetings during the holidays. It was really nice to hear from all of you. I really appreciate it. This is quite an extraordinary community. So Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the break. I know I really enjoyed the break. I was planning on making more mere minutes, but wow, once I got in that taking time off mode, it was really taking time off. But I'm really glad to be back at work now, and I've actually started scheduling my projects and videos, and I've got like the first couple months already planned out, so that's pretty cool. I'm not usually that ahead of the game. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy more minutes, which I should be posting Monday or Tuesday. A lot of times people ask me for more details on my projects, and I don't always want to include those in the video because I want the video to be as accessible to as many people as possible and not get too bogged down. A lot of times I shoot scenes that I think are really important, but then when I start editing, I think, you know, it's straying away from the actual topic. So what I want to do is start to include some of that in these additional more minutes for people who are really interested in the project and maybe wants a little bit more inside information and have questions that they want answered. I hope it works out well. I think the, the biggest thing I took away from the reading the comments on yesterday's video was I think a lot of people didn't understand that this is just the beginning of that bathroom remodel, that this wasn't the end. You know, People were wondering why I didn't cover up the outlet cover and why the wall looked the way it did and you know this is just the beginning we still have to paint the wall and you know do a whole bunch of other stuff to that room and it's going to be an ongoing thing i'm not going to have videos on that every single week but they'll be spaced apart over probably over the next couple of months in all honesty we haven't really figured out what we're going to do with it yet i know i want to make a mirror in there and i want to make some sort of a storage cabinet but man oh man taking that mirror out of there that was really scary i started prying it out and it just Bam! It just makes this really loud popping sound. But anyways, I'll, I'll show you more of that on more minutes. Spent a lot of time watching movies over the holidays. Oh, and playing a game. We got Wyatt a game, a card game called Exploding Kittens for Christmas. It was a, it was one of the biggest Kickstarter campaigns ever. If you like games and you want a good family game, check out Exploding Kittens. Tons of fun. Going back a few weeks, yes, I saw the new Star Wars movie. We saw it on a, the big IMAX screen in 3D. It was, it was pretty amazing to see like that. As far as the movie, it was, it was okay. I guess I'm not, wasn't as thrilled with it as most people were. It seemed like it was sort of a remake of the original Star Wars film, but it, it was good and it was fun. It, you know, not one of my favorite movies of the year. I think my favorite movie of the year would have to be Mad Max. But last week, we saw the traveling roadshow version of The Hateful Eight, Quentin Tarantino's new movie. Wow, that was that was an experience. They actually, they give you a program with it. There's a walk-in music, intermission. We saw it on the 70 millimeter, yeah, 70 millimeter film, you know. I think this is my favorite Tarantino film since Pulp Fiction. Brutally violent movie, but a lot of fun and funny too. And last night we saw The Revenant, the Leonardo DiCaprio film. Wow, that was an experience. I don't think I liked it as much as The Hateful Eight, but it was still really good. And DiCaprio, kind of the performance of a lifetime, he, it was really good. He should win an Oscar for that role. I hope he does. Golden Globes are on tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to watching the Golden Globe Awards. Hey, I'd like to know if you guys have any plans for projects this year. What do you plan on working on? Also, I'd like to know if you guys have any suggestions for projects for my show. I, I'm trying something a little bit different this year. I'm going to mix it up with practical projects, how-to projects, and then kind of the more look what I could do projects, which are a lot more popular, I think, on YouTube. A lot of people just making stuff and just showing what they made. Kind of like when I made the, the machete project. It's not the kind of project that anybody really wants to make, but I think people like to just watch other people doing stuff. So I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try a mixture. This coming Friday is not gonna be a project. It's going to be all about 
table saw basics. Lots of people have been asking me for this kind of a video. So I'll throw that out there. See if you like it, see if other people like it, and just do some experimentation that way. One of the things about running this business is that I am filled with ideas and I often find out that I just don't have time to do them. One of the things I'd like to do this year is try to get back to growing Home and Garden for Mere Mortals. I've kind of let it lapse over the last few months because I just haven't had time to devote to it. To do that, I really need help. I need people who are willing to shoot video and get involved in that. If this is something that interests you, let me know and we can talk about compensation and, and how all of that would work. I want that channel to be modeled off of HGTV, really. So where it encompasses home improvement, crafting, decorating, uh, gardening, anything for the house. I'm not even opposed to cooking videos on there, just anything home related. That's my goal. And I actually wanted to try to shoot some of like this bathroom remodel and include it. And I just don't have the time to do that. So send me an email if you're interested in getting involved in that channel because I think it's a, a good concept and I think we can really help a lot of people with those videos, but I need the talent. Are you guys gonna be watching the NFL playoffs? This is wild card weekend. I'm, I'm kind of like mildly interested. I, I guess I always kind of get interested in the playoffs because it's usually you could watch some really good football, but I'm just not, I'm not really that interested in any of the teams. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to watching the Raiders next season. This season was really fun to watch. Next year's gonna be, they're gonna be the team to watch. I hope. That's all I've got for now, everybody. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next weekend. And oh, don't forget, more minutes early in the week.